Well, telemedicine, also called telehealth, e-health, is use of information communication technologies to provide healthcare services at a distance. Those services can be clinical, consultation, case review, education, training, and even community-based participatory research. So now we can communicate with people all over the world uh, using the internet and a, ver a spectrum of technologies. Well, the advantages are, one, avoiding travel. Uh, we, we can only spend so much time on the road. Uh, patients going to see physicians over distance can be a real problem and a challenge. And that's not only for rural America or rural uh, in, the, in the international community, but also in urban areas, getting across town. So the whole idea is to bring the care to the patient, bring the specialist, your primary care provider, to you as a consumer of health care, and also using specialists like neonatologists, like at this meeting here, uh, that uh, can provide support for pediatricians and primary care providers uh, and work with obstetricians, maternal fetal medicine specialists, in improving the outcome of pregnancy. Well, certainly short term is the travel avoidance, the decrease in cost, better access to care. And in fact, one of the things we're trying to do, if you look at what's called the triple aims that the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid talk about, that we're trying to improve access to care, and certainly the technology can do that. We're also trying to improve health outcomes. So we need to show that by doing it, we're improving health and reduce costs. And certainly we can do that, one, by avoiding travel, and also by getting better continuity of care, bringing the care to the patient, helping the primary care providers manage their patients. We can improve health outcomes, keep people out of the hospital when they don't need to be there, and just improve their overall quality of life. So this is in preventive medicine, but also in chronic disease. Well, I think what's happening is just like we're doing now, we're going to use the internet, web portals, uh, smart devices, mobile devices, the smartphone, tablets, uh, to actually communicate with each other with incredible mobility. So I believe the future is going to be we're going to integrate uh, these mobile devices uh, in a meaningful way so we can get health care to people all over the world. We're starting to see that with the penetration of the cell phone in developing countries where now people in the jungles of the Amazon are communicating by cell phone. What that means is we're going to penetrate into areas we never could before that, that should improve the health of people we're trying to serve all over the world as well as in this country. Absolutely. In fact, I think what's going to happen with the technology is we'll be able to avoid uh, uh, unnecessary variations in care. Uh, we can use best practices that can be applied in a meaningful way uh, based on resources available in anywhere in the world. And we need to work with people around the world so that we develop these systems in a way that's appropriate for that environment, for that country, culturally, to meet their health needs. In fact, all this should be needs driven. And if we do it appropriately, we see the future being we're going to improve the, the health of people all over the world, uh, no matter of your economic status, your culture, your background. Uh, and so the technology is going to bring health care across the world in ways that we never could before. And we're seeing it happen with the cell phone. We're seeing it happen uh, with tablets, mobile devices, uh, web portals, and so on. So uh, it, this is a wonderful time for telemedicine and e-health.